It's episode 30, yes! Hello and welcome to episode 30 of the Lincoln City Youth Squad Legends series. We're moving into 2020. We've got things to do on the main menu before we play the game against Notts County. Training injury. Out for seven days, Isaac Robinson. Players have left the club. We've got an offering for Alexander Lundgren that I've accepted, and I've accepted an offer for Nilo as well. Stick all the money into the wage budget. 7,000, don't think it's gonna be good enough. We have Latov Levici's contract expiring. I'm guessing Ronnie Latov Levici will want about 10,000 pounds. I would have loved to seal his contract before training him. That wasn't to be. It's all good though. Ronnie Latov Levici is worth the £10,000 a week, even though nobody in League 2 should be earning £10,000 a week. Come on, EA. What is this? Yes, he is crucial. I want him for five years. No, he only wants two. I'm mm, gonna counter at three. Don't want that release close. Everything's good there. See, the wage starts at £10,000. It's not happening at the moment, unfortunately, boys. So we're just gonna have to wait until the other transfers come through. Marcelo's gone to my Manchester United. No, no, it would not happen. Nilo and Lundgren are gone. So hopefully that is a green light to sign Latov Lovici up for another three or so years. Hopefully he wants to sign for more years. That'd be great. Sugar expected to make debut. Who was this then? Oh, look at that guy. Still can't get over the fact that they're sponsored by Jake Bug. Daiki Sugar arrived from H Concert Sapporo for a fee rumoured to be around £670,000. League 2 sides nearly splashing out a million pounds on players, please. Come on, EA. A bicycle kick will be scored within 12 episodes of this one. I'm calling it right now. I want someone to look at me like Cutsy looks at Caston Yeda. Yeah, sex is cool, but have you ever seen Lincoln play sensual football? First game of the episode, Lincoln City against Notts County. Very excited to get this under away change the sliders up i don't think they're as good as what they were pre-patch but they're much better than last episode and i'm just confident i'm confident now lincoln city they've had a bad run of form they've got past december and that tough run of games now we move into a new year and a new lincoln city ready to take the next step. Oh yes, Castaneda back to Stefan Magnusson. Shot blocked by Hewitt. That's a block. All right, get to him, get to him. More than one person, thank you. Magnusson is huge. Didn't have any kind of help whatsoever. Wanted two players rushing at the guy. But Magnuson says, no, one's enough. Thank you very much. Harvey Hall trying the tricks. Harvey Hall wants that one too. Castaneda's gonna have to wait. Could play it in for Magnuson instead. Why did it take so long? Harvey Hall blocking off all midfielders. Just cruising past the defence and a bad shot. Leaves us still nil-nil. Running heads down to Yuko Ike. He gets it to Magnussen. Stefan Magnussen just took too long. You've got to make that instant decision to shoot instead of waiting and trying to line it up. Let's get out. Great tackle, Rui Ferrio. And he plays it on. Yuko Ike! Come on, boys! Get up with Yuko! Help me out! Yuko Ike! Go on, Harvey Hall! Oh, man! Harvey Hall pushed in the back, and still he's gonna be doing better. Hawkridge, he's gonna shoot himself! Close to the top corner, but not in! Two minutes of added time, keep a close eye on that Swindon Town result as they try and become top dogs in the league, Castaneda. Oh, I love that step over, nearly paid off. Swindon Town drawing nil-nil to Barnet at the moment. Come on, Akinde. Harvey Hall, oh, the flip-flop, Harvey Hall. Oh, I should have taken that closer in. Probably should not have passed that. Look, how did Latov Levici not clear it? Oh, mate. 
A catalogue of calamities. That's gonna be Notts County's first shot on target as well. Thompson come very close. Not too sure what Kude is trying to do with the second effort. He's, <laughs> he's trying to push it away and he's nowhere near it. Oh yeah, one shot on target. Roberts with a massive header. Lats of Luigi Roberts continued his run. There's Castaneda. Now Harvey Hall. Get into the ball. Who's helping Harvey Hall? Oh, Castaneda. Ten shots to five. <laughs> Harvey Hall waits. Can go himself if he needs to. Probably will now. Harvey Hall blocks off. Oh, this is pathetic. Suga's offside. Please don't say Manzias was playing him on. Oh, Manzias, you need a word with yourself. It's Harvey Hall this time. Oh, my... At the start, it was really bad finishing. At the end, it's really bad luck. Because that was a, probably an inch away from going in. What is Manzias doing? He has no understanding of what a defensive line is. I'm going to take him off before he does any damage. Yuko Ike has won that fairly. Yuko, yes, well done. Yuko Ike, he needs help. He needs... Ma it's got to be a foul referee! Oh, I'm holding R1 and you don't do anything! Phillips, heavy touch, that's it, it's the end. And Notts County have won this game, even though we've had twice the amount of shots, more than twice the amount on target. Sometimes that's how football goes. The good thing is, Barnet beat Swindon Town by the single goal they got. Northampton in a day's time. Quick trip to the Sixfield Stadium. The bright winter ball. Snow is on the ground. It's Sandoval powering home. Get it in! Yes! Ilpo Vilho! 1 0 Lincoln City! Why do balls suddenly appear? Every time! Vilho's clear! The perfect run! He's one on one! Vilho's through! Get in, you beauty! Head it back! There you go, and Weke! Really good pressure on by Lincoln City. Look at this, we've got three, four players around. But that means that the midfield is light on numbers. Well done, Ed Lee! The only midfielder back! He gets the ball! That is teamwork. Axelson, only a short guy, wins the header. Ed Lee all over Crooks. Northampton still have it. Hoskins. Oh, it's, there's a hole in my defence. Burnson's nightmare is continuing the net. He would have loved a clean sheet. Joel Tawomi, reverse that. Charlie Green, he gets it. Charlie Green! Shots wide, it's taken deflection, good defending in the end. Was this on target? Looked like it was. Leo Tawomi into the box. Oh, hello. Is it going to be a... Oh! Oh! The comment was right there. Oh, you didn't even need to wait 12 episodes. Charlie Green attempted the bicycle kick. And it was just wide. Quick word on Ed Lee and Charlie Green in the midfield. Feeling okay. Ed Lee could be the answer to Charlie Green, to be honest. No midfielder's got the best out of Charlie Green. I want to be like Colleen Mason. I want to do whatever Ollie Mason does. Let's go! Oh! Great save by Cornell. I thought Sandoval's header was in. It's a diving header. Oh, fingertips. Sholinar. Bing! Over the head. It's a centre by doing the skills. Hello! Great little block there by Ollie Mason. Ed Lee throwing his body weight around. Even though he's a short guy, he likes to get stuck in. That might be the reason why Charlie Green favours playing with him. It seems like Charlie Green kind of shies away from the physical side of the game. Not Ed Lee. Edley likes to be in that mix. Oh dear. They're 2-1 up. Across to the far post. Has killed the defence. Northampton have had two shots in this game. 
We've had seven Ed Lee charging forward now. You know something's up when Ed Lee charges forward, slips it in. Phil Ho! Oh, come on now! This game, there's something terribly wrong with this game. Attacking from the start. Oh, Mason gives it to Phil Ho. It's two all. Let's go. A draw's not enough. We've been dominant. So let's get that ball, stick it back on the centre spot, and go again. There's so many fan favourites in this series everywhere you look. I mean, some of the world-class talent is going to be quiet occasionally because this is silly now. Burnson's an absolute nightmare. Four shots on target these lads have had. Five shots in total. Oh, it's right at Burnson. Cool days on for Burnson. I think that might be the last time that we see him, to be honest. Holy hold! Keep on. Cool day. I'm holding triangle, man. The nightmare continues. Swindon Town drew 1-1 to Crawley. They're giving us every opportunity to stay at the top of the table. They're only one point behind now. We've played the exact same amount of games. Man's called Darlington. So this guy is 16 years old. He's got an overall of 52 to 70 with a potential of 73 to 94. Probably a holding midfielder. We don't have a holding midfielder in the team, have we? There's also this lad, Abraham to four. His overall isn't as good, but he's six foot seven and his potential is quite high. He's a centre back, six foot seven. Acceleration is 74. His strength is 80. Shame that his sprint speed's only 66. His technicals are pretty terrible, but his physicals are immense. The player of the year is Neymar. I want you to be crucial to this team. He wants three years on his contract. Didn't seem happy when I asked for five. But I can counter at four, which is better than what he wanted beforehand. Now for the all-important wages. I know that he wants about £10,000, so we'll submit that and see where we go. Ah, wage of £7,000 with a signing bonus of 110,000 goals. If he scores 25 goals in a season, not going to happen. £340,000. I can't even give them that. It's too much. Too much money. You can have your £110,000 in signing bonus. I think you're worth it. I think you're worth the £7,000 per week. The goals bonus. Bit stupid, mate. He's alright with taking the bonus off, but the wage now goes up to 8600 I thought we were going to go up to 10000 here, so I'm going to accept... We're going to sign Ronnie Latov Lovici up for another four years. Final game of the episode, Lincoln City against Carlisle. Seems like we battled through the elements to bring you these three games. Snow, sunshine and now fog. Someone's fallen down in the middle. I think it was Rui Faria. Castaneda can send that over to Bjarne running. Here's Luis Sandoval, definitely onside. Don't know why the hands were raised. Castaneda trying to find the top corner, nearly did it. Latov Lovici. I'm loving the pass by Latov Lovici. Sends Yuko Ike away with the fake shot. Yuko! Oh, come on now. It's been the third time that I've hit the post. Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike. New Rui is here. Intention for starting spot. I do not like this. Oh, it is. It's Latov Lovici. Oh, all of a sudden I was thinking, could he score 25? The answer was right there in plain sight. No, he can't. Yuko Ike. Love it. Yuko. Come on. Into the box. Flicks it up. Oh, Faria just... What are you doing? <sighs> Why did you do the fake shot? Spamming X. Harvey Hall was right there. To receive it. Oh, there's a one work again. Castaneda with the ball in. Oh, Yuko Ike with the header. Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike. Form is going down. Only one can save us now. It's Yuko Ike. <laughs> goals he's got nine goals 
Wales in League Two. You can feel the relief in the stands. My celebration was a bit mad. My arms nearly came out my sockets. Down, Castaneda. Very good at heading the ball. Goes back and plays it to Yuko Ike, who's had the freedom of the park today. Yuko, let's go, baby. Oh, he's missed it. No, seriously, boys, it would destroy me if we can't finish this off now. We've been so much better. Harvey Hall, is Castaneda on side? He was. He can't finish. No one can, apparently. Four shots in total for Yuko Ike. His conversion rate, 25%. Good enough for me. Yeah! <laughs> We're four points clear. All of a sudden, everything's looking rosy. The end of January approaches. Even though we've only won one game, it feels like a victory because we are in a better place than what we were at the end of last episode. This has been Cutsy. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, then please give it a like. If you're not subscribed yet, then hit the red box. Press the bell icon for mobile notifications. And I will see you next time.